Good morning to everyone. Uh, uh, it's an opportunity kakabsat uh, in karkararag kung ikanak ti uh, kired ken pig sa iti apo ti dating nga bigat. And I Amen. hope God will sustain me that I could share the word of God to you this morning. Yeah. It is a very important topic because, uh, you know, uh, in preparation for the birthday of our senior pastor on May 10, so this will be a series of two messages. And I know if you are a pastor to your church, you will not preach this. So you need somebody to preach this for your pastor. Amen. So I hope that we will listen very carefully. Uh, I believe this is my first time kakabsat nga dating outline kat maitad nga maipreach kada tayo. As a church, no man pay part of it, they laulawagan. Uh, I would like to have your undivided attention and uh, please uh, take note. No kailangan nyo dito yung outline kakabsat, uh, may provide ka na tayo. Nang roon na giti key people tayo, tap ni tikas takat, we could review them later on. So let's go to God in prayer please. Let's bow our heads. Uh, Father God, this morning, what a glorious privilege that I could by your grace, I stand behind this pulpit to preach the word of God, most especially on this very important and delicate subject, what should I do for my pastor? Amen. Our pastor had been ministering to us because he is God's gift, but now it is our turn to question and ask ourselves, what can I do for my pastor? So, Lord God, give me the utterance that... Uh, uh, I could explain fully the Word of God in the, uh, in the power of the Holy Spirit and the wisdom of God. Uh, give words to my mouth and that your people will become receptive to your Word today. Wherever we are around the world, thank you for your people who are watching this live stream. And we ask that uh, you continue to communicate with them with clarity regarding this message because seldom this message about our duty to our pastor is being preached behind the pulpit. So uh, help me now and use me by your power. Thank you, Lord, for the opportunity in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's be seated. Thank you. Uh, let, me share, let me share, first of all, the topic today. Then I would like to explain uh, word for word. Our topic today is what should I do for my pastor? What should I do for my pastor? Well, kada tayo kakabsat, ti pastor tayo, adot ar aramidan na, encouragement, uh, preaching the word of God, praying for the sick, taking your prayer request, meeting our spiritual need. From day to day, every Sunday, Wednesday, and all our services. But today, it's our turn to ask ourselves, what should I do for my pastor? Well, let's take the word should. What does the, the word uh, should mean? Uh, that is should, kakabsat. Mabalimot nga usarin tayo kuma, DJ, shall, aya, tayo kuna nagat, argent, shall. But that the word na should, kakabsat, please understand that the word should is to express duty. So in other words, when you say what should, then you are asking yourself, what is my duty? Or in other words, the word should means obligation. So what is my duty? What is my obligation toward my pastor? But in other words, what should I do for my pastor? Okay? Now, when we say duty, let's take the word duty. No duty ko nam, tikayat na nga sa wan, anya itirebengek. Anya itirebeng ko nga aramiden. Diya tikayat na nga sa wan. You are arcing yourself, anya itirebeng ko nga aramiden, or in other words, responsibilities. What are my responsibilities? Kaslati aring na kumano si kakat may isa nga ama, impaay mo tinaimbag ka digiti anak mo, kunamot digiti anak mo, anamot itirabangak kung responsibilidad ko kas may isa nga anak. 
in return. Okay? The word obligation means requirement. So, toward your pastor, there are requirements that as member of SBBC or as Christians, even though you are not a member of the SBBC and you have been ministered to through live stream, well, there are obligations that we need also to do. It means there are debt or favor that you have taken. And so, rebang na lang ang kakapsat, nga alaan tayo mat, na gito'y obligasyon tayo. Anamat nga rin, obligasyon ko itata. Nga kas anak iti apo. Na gito, iti pagsasaritaan tayo, iti dahi ito'y nga bigat kakapsat. So, duty or obligation. So, I hope clear ka da tayo di dyan, kakapsat. Anati obligasyon ko iti pastor ko nga kas maysa nga kristyano nga mabenbenefita not only as member but da tayo nga benefited kakabsat dati ministry ti HBBC wherever you are around the globe. Now in our text kaya't pagitan tayo dati text tayo kakabsat going back what should I do for my pastor Jeremiah chapter 3 verse 15 Let's read all together. And I will give you pastors according to my heart which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. So, haan nga da kayo tinangtad ti pastor. Nudikat ni Apo Diyos itinangpili iti pastor because he said, according to my heart. Tikayat na nga sa uwang kakabsat, agat No presidente ko ma, butusam. Ngam ti pastor ha mo nga butusan. Kasi ni Apo Diyos tinang ipaay. Iti pastor kakabsat. Oo. Haan nga kasko na digit ay daduma nga churches. Listen very carefully. Kuna na di may isang nga pastor. The church can hire and can fire. That's a wrong connotation of the word pastor. Because it is God who gives the pastor And it is also God who will remove if He wants to remove the men of God. It is not the people that removes the men of God. Because God has given Him, so He has only the authority to remove a pastor. Okay? So, Ephesians chapter 4 verse 11. Text tayo ito tayo Bible reading. And He gave who? God. Okay? Pastors and teachers. Kasi nalpas di apostles kada prophets and ka. Yeah? So pastors and teachers, what's the, what's the use? Verse 12. For the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. So no apay at the pastor tayo kakabsa, tap no yung tikastakat, ana. The word perfect means Mature. Okay? To mature us, ag trabaho para ti ministry kan para kapanakapatib ker. That's the word edifying. Encourage the body of Christ. Okay? So, by way of introduction, kasi dito yung kakabsat kat pastor Sunday tayo nga minto no Domingo. Kat kala introductory pala dito yung pastor Sunday tayo dito yung kakabsat. So nga hanyo mimisan, dapat at datay ito man amin ito no Domingon, talayb kan ito'y. Tap no maituloy tayo. First word I would like to say is, pastors are God's gift to the church. Amen? Dagiti pa pastor, kat isuda, sagot ni Apo Diyos iti church. Kakabsat. Sagot ni Apo Diyos. Isu iti nang pili. Uh, mabalin may ilaluwag kung ito maminsan nga pastorate is a calling. I would say most of you have professions in life but pastorate is not a profession. It's a calling from God. Oo. Haan nga professional pastor? Haan adada na kita'y kakasta kakabsat? But haan nga profession iti pastor no dikat it is a calling from God. You may be a teacher, you may be a doctor, you may be a lawyer, you may be an engineer. Those are your professions. But pastorate is not a profession. It's a calling from God. 
Now, I would say, indeed, the greatest blessing God can ever bestow any local church in this world is to give the church a faithful pastor. Tikadaklan nga blessing iti church kakabsat, kat di gay panangtad ti apo ti may isang tao iti church. Well, even if we have church and if there is no faithful pastor, the church will fail. Kada kayo nga data live stream itatakap sa at noawan pastor nga mangpakpakan kada kayo, anak kumat mapasamak ng encouragement kada tayo kakap sa at. Mabalin nga ado kada tayo ti agbakslide, wano aglamiis. Oo, it's a, it's a blessing. This is one of the greatest blessing, if not the greatest blessing nga maitad ti apo kada tayo. A man who preaches the gospel of his free and sovereign grace in Christ. Okay? At the, basahan nyo, nohan nyo mga makupya amin kakabsat, I hope you get you can just get the gist of it. Di jay uh, tot na. Tapos nung maawatan tayo. Now, as a church, we should cherish the men of God, sent of God. The word cherish means uh, to tend lovingly or to keep in mind. Cherish. Dito tika yun nga sa one. Okay? We should cherish, ipatag tayo. The jetiket na nga sa one. The men sent of God our pastor to preach the gospel to us. And as a church, let us do everything we can to treat him as the messenger of God for our souls. Amen. Tikayat na sa one ti messenger, jag daldala ti message. Dito tikayat na nga sa one. Ayan? Isu ti inikan ti apo iti gundaway tapno ited na kadatayo ti mensahe nga kas adipon iti apo nga nainlangitan. This morning, uh, partly siguro kakapsat, taluon no upat lang nga points maala tayo, but this morning, I would like to uh, present to you ten revealed, ten things revealed in the Word of God which every church should do for their pastor. Sa nga pulo nga bamba nagkakabsata na pakturya na ito, ingam na adda iti Biblia, noan niya ti dapat nga aramidon ti church iti pastor na. Wano iti pastor. Okay. Mawatan tayo mo sigurot pastoran, di ba? Anat pastor. Ha? One who tends the flock. May isa nga agay aywan kadagiti karnero. Dito tiket na sa wan. Dito tayo dagiti karnero ni Apo Diyos nangipante ag pastor nga mga iwan ken mangkita kadigiti karkararwa tayo nga kasmaysa nga kristyano. So anamot ti aramidon tayo nga rod tidi ag pas pastor kada tayo. Dahil jay tikayat na nga sa wan, kakabsat. Okay? So let's go to number one. What should I do for my pastor? Number one. Know him. Know him. Kaya't kung kitan tayo dito yung text kakabsat, kaya't ada three words nga kaya't ko nga makita tayo dito. Eh. Okay? Now, ng sakbay dito, kaya't ko nga maadal tayo ng anat kaya't nasa one dito yung know him. No, no, ko nam anat no. Am, am, wem. Okay? Kaya't nga sa one, kuna na ije ilukano kakabsat, bigbigan nyo. Ito tiga na sa one dito, know him. Know him, bigbigan nyo. Ito tiket na nga sa one. Okay? Uh, let's look at the verse please. 1 Thessalonians 5.12 The Apostle Paul was telling to the church in Thessalonica and today as a church as it's BBC, this is what I would like for you to understand. As your patriarch, I beseech you brethren. I beseech you. Dawatak kayo kada kayo kakabsat. Talong a word, to know them which labor among you and are over you in the Lord and admonish you. So, know them, kung natin itatay, when you know Him, know them, plural, di jay. Number one word is labor among you. So, ti pastor tayo kakabsat, agbanbanog, di ba? Agtrab-trabaho nga para kadatayo. 
Oo. Dapat amamuan tayo. Ano dito, agtrab-trabaho kada tayo. Sinot agtitrabaho kada tayo. Siyempre, no, agtrab-trabaho para kang amamuma. Diba? Okay? The second word is, admonish you. Ay, over you, over you. Kuna na di Lucano, bigbigan niyo dagit ti agbanog kada kayo. May kadua nga word kakabsat, mamangulo kada kayo over you. Wano mangi daulo kada tayo. Siyempre kat no hamuamot mangi daulo kang ka kasanong arot nga dasurutan. Akat amamuan man sinot mangi daulo kang ka. Oo. So that you will follow. And the third word is admonish you Kaya't na nga sa wanda, ito yung kakabsat, kat, uh, mamagbaga kada kayo. Dito, kaya't na nga sa wanda, gaya. Mamalbalakad kada kayo. Okay? So, talo nga banag, agtrabaho nga para kada kayo, mangidaulo kada kayo, kain, mamagbaga kada kayo. So, dag ito yung nga balikas kakabsat, they are all contained That's why we need to know our pastor. All right. Now, obviously, na insurat ko ay hindi ka absat kasi medyo mabanuga ng agsaot at idog. Okay, okay. So obviously, just follow with your eyes. This means more than having a bare acquaintance with him. No bear acquaintance ko na, no acquaint ko na tayong amen, familiar kang ka, familiar person. I am acquainted, familiarity. Haan nga deta, iti kahit nasa wanggat, gaputa ang mumlat na, gan na. Bear acquaintance. Well, it is unthinkable that a church may have a pastor with whom it is unacquainted. Eh kat no church tayo kakabsat, hantay amamut pastor tayo. When no kada kayo nga da yung tasum, kat awanti idea yun no sino ni Pastor Pruby. Akat, awanti pa nagtalik mo ata awamot iti good acquaintance. That's why we would like you to communicate. Amo yung nagtugtugawak e jay kakabsat, mon monitor at e jay uh, Facebook live screen. Amin nga comments yung kakabsat, i-review mi ka ni Pastor Pruby. So hangga agbabain nga agcomment ijay kakabsat because we are always praying for you. What a nice thing to hear from you that we are being acquainted. Ureno adayo kayo kakabsat kada kami through your message. Okay? Oh, now. To know your pastor is to acknowledge him as your pastor and as the messenger of God for your soul. Di kaya't na nga sa wano amamuam ti pastor mo, nasken nga maamuam, nga isu iti messenger ni Apo Diyos, isu't mangyag kang ka iti mensahe iti Apo, tapno maliwliwa iti panagbiag mo nga kasmaysa nga kristyano. Next. There should be a special relationship between a pastor and the congregation that he serves. Okay? There should be a special relationship. And your pastor is to be acknowledged above all others as God messenger to you. He is the messenger of God, so that will make him very special. Okay. Remember this. I want it to come out. Your pastor, every one of you, your pastor is for you, and he is not against anyone. Kas may isang arban ka come out. Pagsayaatan yu amin iti kalikagom ti pastor tayo ket awan iti ilang langin na wenno awan na nga to ken nababa iti panagkita ti pastor no di ket equal ti pribilihyo tayo kakabsat nga makigayem iti pastor tayo Okay Let's make him our friend Adadete kanta nga kuna naget alaget ni Apo Jesus ti kuna naget The more I get to know you, the more I get in love. Ah, po, di kita may in love, di atat gusto. Dang ata na yan. Ayan? Ngamam mo, to know him and love him, because the word no is loving him. If you are to love your pastor, you got to know him. 
kailangan maamamum isuna. Several things to't makita tayo nga dapat nga amun tayo. Yeah? Now, letter A, under know him. To know your pastor is to love him. Okay? Because that the word nga know, kakabsat, in other words, open use in the Bible in the word love in the scripture. And every member of the church should have a distinct love for the man who is the instrument of God to minister to the needs of His people. Kailangan itong gal church kakabsat at dati makuna nga distinct love na iti pastor kasi isot mang minister kada tayo eh. Isot mamakpakan kada tayo iso nga masapul nga ayaten tayo kuma iti pastor tayo. Amen ba? Amen. Do you love your pastor? Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Okay. So, data kakabsat. Apay. Because the man who devote his life in securing your soul's comfort, edification and strength is worthy of your love. Awan, by the grace of God kakabsat, as an encouragement, awan sa pulon tayo nga tamot ni pastor tayo, hindi pa nang pakpakan na kada tayo. Kakabsat. May strengthen tayo, may encourage tayo, and He is worthy of our love. Maikari nga ayaten tayo kakabsat, ta isu ti adipan ti Apo nga inted ni Apo Diyos kada tayo. Isu nga masapul nga amamuan tayo, ti pastor tayo nga naimbag. Letter B, the word know him, not only that you love him, but to know your pastor is to hold him in respect. Hold him in respect. Mawatan tayo mo siguro dito, a respeto ka. Paul admonished the Philippians to hold their pastor in reputation and to honor him. Tikayat na nga sa uwan dito, ikakabsat, ayan, di jay pakadamagan kan pamadayaw maitid kumati adipon ti Apo kat da tayo nga anak ti Apo kakabsat kailangan nga padayawan tayo ti pastor tayo kas God's ambassador no ambassador ko nam God's representative kas la kumano dagi ti other countries at the ambassador ti tunggal countries nga gabud ti Pilipinas mangi represent ti Pilipinas So our pastor represents God to us. And he is our ambassador. He is God's ambassador to us. That's why we need him to give honor. They are to be treated as God ambassadors for Christ. Though all Christians are ambassadors in the same way, that wherever your work or your school, you are God's representative. But in the church, the pastor is the main ambassador of God to minister to us. And I hope you understand that, Kakabsat. Alright? Letter C. Letter C. To know your pastor is to show concern for his comfort, welfare, safety, and protection. Alaan tayo nga sa guys sa data, Kakabsat. Okay? Okay? Now, safety. Anak kaya na nga sawon ay data comfort. Anak kaya na sawon data comfort ka kapsat. Well, the word comfort means to cheer him. Mangliuliwag ang kuana. Dengan yun dito. Yung anak kaya na kung maawatan tayo kapsat by the grace of God. You know, pastorate is a sweet and lonely experience. Yeah. Pastorate is a sweet and lonely experience. Why? Wunata, very sweet because you are serving the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. But remember, it is very lonely and tough. Sometimes you don't know the loneliness of a pastor, what he is undergoing. No maminsan, Awan makasaritam kakabsat nila apo Diyos isungakas kini David kunana I encourage myself in the Lord. Kasi sometimes there is no one to share about your problems. Well, you cannot just share your problems with your ordinary, with your members. But only God. Diba? So many, many times 
Kailangan ti pastor tayo kakabsat, iti mangliwliwag ang kuwana, ti kayat na kasawan, mangchir. Ti kayat na kasawan kumada, ti comfort kat kuna tayo. Pastor, keep on, I'm praying for you. That's a good comfort. Da kayong agbuibuyang, agkumkoment, kung kunayo nukwag at pastor, all I can do is to pray for you. That's a good comfort that comes from you. And that's a good thing that you can do for your pastor. The word welfare, no welfare ko namkat well-being, health, <coughs> health or assistance, welfare. Kalagi ti ag welfare ta Amerika. Umawat na iti gobyerno ti welfare. Aya? Tulong. Aya? Eh kat kuna tayo, anat mabaling ko nga tanga itulong ka ni pastor. Ha, kakabsat no pinadigwam tinaluto nga si Daan, dakilabalag deta. Amen? Amen? To God be the glory. Eh kat mo adot mamirianda, jay balayo, kat padigwak man ni pastor ko nam. Ha, kat to God be the glory. Oh. Assistance, data ti kayat ng asawan. Being, well-being, help or assistance. And then, the third word there is safety. Where the word, uh, uh, the word safety means freedom from danger. Freedom from danger. Ti kayat ng asawan, proteheram ti pastor mo. No amum nga da COVID mo, hanggang mo umay ditaw eh. Makaakar ka. Proteheram. Wenuhan lang hangga yung umay di ti kapilya pe lang kakabsat hambi kayat nga han nga te umay ang for your protection and our protection. Data ti kayat nga sawen. Okay? Yeah. Churches should be greatly concerned for the safety and welfare of their pastor in the discharge of their responsibilities. Uh, pray for your pastor's spiritual safety and well-being. Dito yung kakabsat, kaya ito ang makita yun dito. Protect his name. Emphasize ko dito. Pamuli dyan, anak ko. Protect his name and reputation from slanderous gossip of evil men and always endeavor to encourage him in his work. Proteheram itinagan iti pastor mo. Okay? Okay? Kada gitoy ti kayat nasa wano islanderos ko nam kakabsat islander at ti kayat nasa wang kat uh, ana idarum da kat isa nga islander islander ti kayat nasa wang false statement deta ti kayat nasa wang islander hangkay nga mamad padakas iti pastorio one or the word defamation defame mamad padakas oo Now, amu yung kakabsat, adot experience dahil ito yung numutoy biyang may panggap deta. Na dikit ay gossiper nga ta tao, kumpormit ibagbagada, I tell you this, patyam ti pastor mo, hana dikit ay tao nga mang padpadagas na pastor mo. Amuam nga umuna nupud, no wano saan. Protect your pastor. Kunam gang kwa na, I know my pastor, the pastor cannot do that. If you want to talk to me or talk to our pastor, talk personally. Do not ever say any word that defame the reputation of my pastor. Nawatan nyo ka, Absat? Kasi, adot kalaban ti pastor nga men. Dagitayhan na kayat ni sumurot. Kalaban ti pastor. I-preach mo't kinapod no. E kat di da kayat nga surutan. Tunok wan, padaksendakan. Awan kumat mamad padakas ti pastor kakabsat. Now, if the pastor will sin, God will take care of that sin. Hana dapat sika ti mang padpadakas ta pastor mo. Ti problema kakabsat, uray da kita da do mga churches member wano mabalin nga pastor wano servants of God. Eket padaksen da ada damag nga na na naamuanda, di da pay na panagnekan, ipadamag da. That's wrong. To stop a gossip, stop it to yourself. Stop it to yourself. If it is not for the good of the person, don't say anything bad. No din tumit lang makatulong itipada mga tao, haan mo nga ususa rin tangiwat mo nga mga magpalakas itipada mga tao. 
So that they bagbagak, if you are a changed person, anak ko nam, binigat nga ikararag ko dahil ito'y kakabsat. Danggandak nga na imbag. Haan nga gaputa pastor ka, pastorak? When no, take on ako, retired, hanak nga retired, pastor, pastorak lata. Okay, pastor to my son. But he is my pastor. Now, kanayon nga ikararag ko dahil ito'y kakabsat, Lord, today, thank you for giving me the night rest. Today, Lord, I'm reporting for duty as your soldier. Putting on the belt of truth, blessed spirit of righteousness, shoes of bringing the gospel, shield of faith. Ibagak amin, the gijay meaning, the jay. Helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit. I pray today that as I live for you, think through my mind, speak through my lips, see through my eyes, hear through my ears, Work with my hands and walk through my feet. Amum ni naramid mo dito kakapsat at adayuti pa na kay kaglis mo kadigiti dakas nga bambanag. Okay? Now, protect your pastor. Defend him wherever you are. Amum ni palubos nga luklukwan dati pastor mo. Sino lang nga tao at mamadpadakas dito kakapsat. Nung kaaduan dito kakapsat, gapot inggit. Adot may inggit tay pastor mo, iso nga padaksen da ka, padaksen da iso na, kasi kaya't da nga ibaba eh. Deta, deta, kunata yung kapsat, crab mentality. Well, well, it, haan nga na inlasagan ka kapsat, but I know, there are many people who are jealous to the ministry of its BBC. Awan maaramid da nuhan namang padakas eh. At awan mo't araramid din da. Lukitam, awamot resultat ministry. Di ka, ana, te makita da, mga ramid da, tidakas ka pa kasaritaan ng mga dadaan. Hanyo ipalubos ka kapsat. Okay? Yeah. Comfort, welfare, and safety your pastor. Alright. Now, there are three reasons why churches should make their business to know their pastor. As la sub-points na kumadeti kakabsat. Talo nga rason, nuapay nga masapol nga asidag iti relasyon tayo iti apo. Di jay no kat kasyalatan eh ha. Dapat nga, dapat nga na asidag iti relasyon tayo iti pastor tayo. Apay. Dagiti, dagiti rason kakabsat. Number one, they labor among you. Well, medyo na ikwak dito ito tayo yung verse. They labor among you. Ang trabaho da kakapsat. Amuyo ti sa unga labor. Sa bali tayo sa unga work. No work ko naman kat ang trabaho ka lang, di ba? Ngam no labor ko naman kat talaga nga hard work. Di kaya't nga sa unga dito labor. Aya? Actual labor. Aya? Tay karigatan trabaho dito. Kasla ko manikain tayo. Poor man. Ala explain nito da kita madam dama, okay? Kasi at the management kaya in prepare ko ng lesson tayo kagabsat, ag seminar tayo may panggapti management, okay? Yeah, at daamin dito yun dada, ay yan? Now, isut foreman, ala kat nu foreman ko nam supervisor. The word foreman brad is supervisory work toward the workers. Iso ang kag-forforman, no di mo amot ag-supervise kan mang, mang, so, mang stricto ka, di kita worker mo. Okay. Oo. Deta, ngayon no laborer ko na, iso dat karigatan trabaho. Kasi para batil eh, kan para, para kalit abot. <laughs> karigatan, deta. Deti pastor tayo kakabsat, kitaan niyo. Okay. He has given... Faithful pastor are given men who labors for your soul. He fills his hours with diligent work. Anat trabaho ti pastor kakabsat. Studying hard. Apay ko na yun nalakakad ti agsarita ti sango kakabsat. Padasam. Adot professional o reatorne ka pa, doktor ka pa, padasam agsaot sango. Hamuma pagsusurot na sarsarita am. Ya? Yeah? Hana basta-basta pastor kakabsat. Eh, 
agasam deta pa nagpreach na, agwirat ta panunot mo, agsusurot na ibagam? Uray pa'y presidente na maaramid, adot presidente na maaramid, deta kakabsat. Agat at da pa eh. Aya? A, 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 a. At handa maanda mo ti bagbagadan. Ngam ti pastor, it is not by his own might, but you speak through the power of the Holy Spirit of God. Wisdom from God, kakabsat. Okay? Study hard, pray earnestly, preaching fervently. Awan mo sa pulam, daddy, pastor tayo, uray no, manmanutay dito yung church, kat very fiery lahat tayo. Fire, on fire lahat ang agpreach. Haan nga, haan nga, papatay, kaslakanyak. Kakabsat, ni dahi ito yung abigat, lukiban tayo, ti Biblia tayo, ijay huwan. Makita yung kakabsat, at the energy na lahat ta, uray no, at kakabsutan, kuma, ng ipan na lahat ta kakabsat, Jerick Nana, because he want to challenge and preach the word of God. Oh, he is laboring. Kung natin may isa pastor, dahil pastor ang mayang kung na padasan nyo, Narigrigat pa ita at preach ng taag malmalim ka nga agarado tataltalon ko na na. Kasi no agarado ka, tabagim lat na banog. Samantalang no ag preach ka ka sa body, soul, and spirit na banog. Mauyusan ka ti pigsa ka ka sa at. E kadeti pastor tayo, mamintlaw. Nga ag preach ti may, may isang adumingaw. Mamin inam, mamin pito nga ag preach ti makalawas. Agasam deta, at da in-interview da nga uh, priest in ta radio. Kaya ko na nagat, Father ko na da, adot mauma ka nung nga makimisan kasi dagdagulitan nyo ka nung madlat ibagbagayo. Ni Vice President deta, tay, sino tayo dati a Vice President? Eh? Ni Kabayan, Noli de Castro, kadidya mo't pade ko na na, Kasano nga min kabayan ko na na in English kan Tagalog. Kasano nga min kabayan? Mamin pitu ka nga agmisa. Awan tiyempom nga agistadin. Anang arod aramidom no di mo dagdagulitong ko na na. Ya, yeah, naawatan nyo di Jai. Teka no pa'y ko na na mabannog ka pa yung ko na na. Tela, mamin ribo nga sa om body of Christ, body of Christ, di communion. Di kay kanupi agsasa o no, no ipa, ipakan nyo ko na na. Kato na ta kasuno pa makapagsaw ka kapsa at bedale na. Talub na min talo ribo nga imbaga na ba dio. Ikaskas tuy na latta na ta di pa makapagsaot bannog nan ka kapsa. Nawatan yo di jai. Eket tay pastor tayo. Ala ket adagun daway nang agpreach ngam nakita ka kapsa. Manmano nga tat maulit nga mensahe na. Narigat ti agistadi di yo la ammo ka kapsa. Agkanuskus ka. Anang at at i-preach ko doon numalam. Anang at at istadyak. Di pa yung nalalpas na mensahe yung panunutang manan no anat sumarunuman na mensahe maun. Ha? Ay, hanyo lang mo kapsat. Umayit ag tugaw, ag dengag dito. No maminsan critical attitude ka. Kaya di ka pa yung ag dengag. Kaslawang ka isiskan na may bagbagagang ka. No, don't do that. He is laboring for you. Preaching per Bentley and corresponds with the needs of the people. They labor among you. Amen? Agbanug da. Isong amamun yung ida. Eh, kato agbanug da agad. Praise the Lord. Apo, nagsaya atin tamang mangtad kay tigip. Hamya amot at tao nga daduma mang mangtad. Pero God corresponds you in return. Kakabsa. Dagiti agit itad ti gip, what a blessing. Tayla pa nakatanimitimit kararag ang timabaliming aramidin kakabsat. But that's a good encouragement. Number two, why we know them? They are over you by divine appointment. Ito, kakabsat ti pagdilan ti apirme. They are over you by divine appointment. Ano kaya ito sa divine appointment? Hanataot ng appoint ti pastor. Ni Apo Diyos, tinangapoint iti pastor. I give you pastors according to my heart. Now, kita nyo ka sa at, that if divine appointment, God has placed your pastor over you, you for you as your guide. 
mangiturong and ruler do nga ba na guide and ruler amo nyo da kita nga balikas if you would follow his faith you need to know him guide and ruler okay now kaya tuwang kita tayo dyan, Hebrews 13.17 Hebrews 13.17, anak ko. Ano, itype mo man. Okay. Talaga, hindi makaaday ko, kapsat. Agmalmalam ko, maday. Ito yung nga talaga. Nga ako nga amin eh. Kasi seminar eh. Huwag. Uri mga yung pati. Ito yung namalpas. O, obey them that have the rule over you. Dengan nyo. Sinot ruler tayo. Spiritual ruler in the kingdom of God. The pastor. And, what are you going to do? Submit. For they watch for your soul. Amen. As they must give account that they may do it with joy and not with grief for that is unprofitable to you. Gitalat na diyata anak ko. Dagito eh. Kita nyo dagito yung words. Kaya ito nga i-define. Amuyo kakabsat. Ti pastor tayo kat iso ti manager tayo no business kuma. Now, anybody who could define the word manager? Mabalin ang mutay lang ay bagata manager ng awan idea tay unay no anat manager kakabsat. Ti manager isut in charge iti management. Ta kumpanya mabrok no poor management. Ti kayat nga sawen ti manager kakabsat is in in charge of the controlling to achieve success in charge of controlling to achieve success. Isu nga rod nga i-manage mo. Isu nga rod nga i-manage mo. Isu nga rod nga i-manage nga preacher ka kapsat, kunana, the rise and fall of the ministry depends on the leadership of the church. No down the ministry, fault the pastor. No up the ministry, the pastor is given encouragement. Nakita yung kapsat? Okay? So, obey them that have the rule over you, apay, because they watch for your soul. Narigat nga trabaho dito kakapsat. Iso nga, uh, my son being a younger pastor, at least adada kita yung may advice ko. Advice lahat mabalin ko. Kita um da gito yung anak ko, yan, courage mo da gito yung atao, just say, say hello, kapo ta very busy iso na kunak. Uh, no, ikan nak iti authority anak ko, siya ti magisarsarita ka, dagito yung daduman ta, amok nga doon trabahom. Iso nga, amok nga niya, diya kag cellphone, diya kag Facebook. Apay, prerogative ko di jay, kasi adot negatibo na dito nga main. Iso nga, I could say today, it is for good or for bad. Ngamitat ta, thank God for Glenn. Kuna na, papa, masabula da cellphone mo, kasi kanayon mo nga bulo din takwa ni mama no tatawagam so idi la last week kakabsat nga adat ay cellphone kaon iso nga itata mabalin nyo ti agtawag kanya kaon hello mabalin da katawagan anytime 24 hours a day alain nyo tayo number ko kan Cristel tawagan da klata haan nga overtake akta pastor tayo ngang very busy so nga no adda kayo yung konsulta kapot adda ang mula tabalay pastor anat makunam deto itawagan da klata kakabsat No, the prayer request yo, ibagayo lahat na kanya, isulat mabaling kong aramidin deta. Okay? So, hindi la last week. So, anyway, unlimited, they call na ti Globgan is smart. So, nga, uh, all network. Awang problema, kore mami na ribu, akal tumawag, tapay sa nga, aldawan. <laughs> Aya? Okay. So, Dijay, di kayat na nga sa one kakabsat, the leader is in charge. Di ba? Tata, kas manager, kita nyo kakapsata, no manager ka kas pagarigan. Kas la deto yung kwate taklaberya, yari ko deto yung kakapsata. Now, siyak ti inautorize ni Pastor Probing amang manage ta trabaho dyan yung klaberya ta building. Now, if you are a manager, kailangan ti detail, detalye, detailed. Mawata nyo deta detailed? Small matters, very important. No detailed ko na, hindi kaya't nangasawin, describe fully. 
Describe fully. Mawata nyo si Jai? Kati ko na na, dete ko tayo. Alagat na saya at dije suggestion na. Ngayon, uh, orientation to, orient, orient to pe lang. Kailangan ti orientation. Orientation, Engineer Blandino. Oh, ag orientation tayo. Kasi pasalugam ta 14 nga tao at 14 kan ti agubra. Nga awan orientation na, kakaasi ka. No ta forman mo hanamot ar arami din na. Dingayom upat kay ditoy, upat kay ditoy, upat kay ditoy. Rabi ipe lang panunot mo no anat pa ubram. Han nga simrek kaget agay ayam kalata, awan met magapuan na may sangal daw. Nalpaskan ka ka. Manager ka kabsat ti mapabasol dita no awan mo ubra. Oh. Isunga ti pastor, detailed. Anat inaramid mo, anat inubram, kumusta at biyag mo. Detalyado, kasi sikat manager eh. Oh, sikat mang supervise, ti pastor, dua trabaho na. He's not only the manager, he's also the supervisor. Eh, katagasong nga trabaho deta, kakabsat? Haan nga nalaka deta, kakabsat ko? Isunga, ti apo kuma iti mang tarabay ka na tayo. Anyway, ag pass forward tayo kasi medyo uh, pass forward, medyo may kwanto amin dito ito no Domingo by the grace of God. Mapanday pa yala ta sumaro no. Number two, know him. Second thing that you can do for your pastor, we have 10-15 minutes to go. Esteem him very highly. Esteem him very highly. Number two, the word esteem, it means high regard. High regard. Iti Ilocano, nangato nga panang padayaw. Nangato nga panang padayaw. Ilaw-lawag kulatan. Haan nga gapu kakabsat, haan nga nangat, ti pastor tayo, haan nga nangat ngato nga sinuman kada tayo, nga gapu digay office na nga kas pastor, iso nga padayawan tayo. Egat no ti president tayo kunana, Birds of the same feather are same birds. No ko na na. Husto ko no saan? Husto. Diba? Egat, padayawa mata isot presidente. Oh. Egat, ti pastor tayo kakabsat. Aya? We need to esteem him super abundantly because of his work's sake. Kaputi trabaho na kakabsat. Apay. Okay? Letter A. You are to entertain the highest possible opinion of your pastor at all times. No bagbagaan na ka ti pastor mo kakabsat at all times denggam. Aya? Apay. When ata, the ability na, hold him up in your mind highly, esteem his gifts and abilities as a preacher and his grace and faithfulness. Apay, una ta, no, very low ti opinion mo iti men of God, it is not likely that he will be of much uh, much to your soul. Kahit nasa one, agat no, haan mo nga ipatag ti pastor mo, nga dagi dya ibagana kang kagat importante, it does not matter to you. Kasla bali wala, amo dapat nga bali wala ang ti pastor mo. Diyan pa magbaganag ang ka, dakkal nga banag nga makatulong ang ka. Okay? So, if you have a low opinion of the men of God, awan ti kay si Iskan, diyan ibaganag ang ka. Okay? Number three. Number three. Always speak honorably of your pastor. Letter B, gayam. Always speak honorably of your pastor. The word here is, speak well of him at home, at work, members of your family, in the midst of co-workers or your community, always give God's servant the highest possible esteem in your speech. Hamong idadaon ko na, my pastor, ni mama, kas pagarigan, maminsan, mapaninta, mapanlawag, kat agbunong titraks, kunanag at 
the manager TV and bit masapo la kasaritak kuna na. Oh, na paninta manager TV and bit. Kuna ma'am, ikang kay man tibasbasahan nyo aga spell tracks. Kuna na kanuga ni manager uh, Christine. Kaya kuna na gat, awisan kay man nga umay in church ma'am. Ta umay kay agdangag ti sa uti apo. Kuna na, ka manager niya kasarsarita na. Oh, Tay anak ko ti pastor, katahan nagaputa anak ko ti pastor ma'am, ngam umay kayo tap no manggagyo, ti encouragement nga gaputi sa uti apo. Ikot, that's a good example. Ikot, umayo dengan tay pastor mi, amok makaadal kayo. Napintas nga umay kay makigimong. Give an encouragement. Ang am no, awan pa nangiregard mo tay pastor mo, ko na, ada makigimong gan pa awan, bye bye am lata, baka am ni pastor. I don't care. No, ada makigay mong wano awan. Agat awan yung nakakabsat. Awan regard mo tay pastor mo. Nawatan nyo kahit nang asawan? Come and listen to my pastor. You will get many things and encouragement from him. Okay? Alright. Okay. Dito yung maudi dito yung apart siguro. Letter C. Letter C. Speak respectfully to your pastor as God's messenger to you. Kasaom ti pastor mo nga isu iti mang third ti mensahe nga para ken ka. Deta ti ket nga saon ti panang padayaw. Pastor, umayak man agpa-advise anat maibagam maipanggap deti nga banag. Agkararag ta kabsat, dawaten ta ti apo no anat nasayat nga aramiden because he is God's messenger. Ito na kang katimamagbaga. Okay? So, God's servant should be spoken to in respectful terms. With respect. Neither the pastor's office, that yung ilaw-lawag ko kakabsad before going to the other conclusion, neither the pastor's office, not his work, should be made the object of, markaan nyo di dyan, joke or of ridicule. The Jai Kakabsat, like a father into his household. He was be treated with respect because of his high and holy office. High and holy office. The Jai office na lahat kita mo Kakabsat, representative of God. It is not taken as a joke. Okay? Pagang angawan, kalati arig, nagat pagang angawam ta pastor mo, kalabanam ta pastor mo, agrebelde ka ta pastor mo. Laglagi po nyo, dagiti abanag kakabsat. Alahan ko nga ibaga, ngam adadagitay nagrebelde. Nang nangroon na dagitay men nga rebellious, jehaway. Duat na tayan kakabsat. Hanggo nga inkararag di jay. I did not pray for them. Em so magmamanul nga labulan kat nagkanser di may san. Agasam inusar na pa ita social media. Detat ko na kaun. Da kayo nga nakaawat ti text kakabsat. Diya ka muno inananam mo nga nyut da ka suno saan. E dapat in kalikagom nyo ti panang proteriot pastoryo. Agasam di balikas na kakabsat. Hangko, no, kas lang may palagip lang kanyak gabo dito ang message. Kas linipat ko dito ni. Eh. Kuna na gat, eh kat deta pastor ka na dapat agpipreach deta ang kuna na. Kat ay may pastor. Diyak ka muna na palangit ti kararwana wano impyerno. But, hanyo ar arami din jokingly ti office ti pastor kakabsa. Kala diya may isang aminatay. Madama ka agpipreach. Okay. Kaya ang sao-sao diya ko na na, pastor tinuang, pastor tikalding kong ko na na. Wow! Di ka agtal na pela da makasara ka ko na kasigaw. Because ar-arami din na nga linuloko ti obis ti pastor. Pagang angawam ti obis ti pastor. Anat na pasamak ti daan na tulag ka ni Elisha kakabsat. Alaan nyo latan, 2 Kings chapter 2, 23 and 24. Itala nga, gober time tayo, Pastor Proby. Amen. Yeah? 2 Kings chapter 2, 23 and 24. Ipamumanan ako na may pamaw. Oh. 
ni Elisha na pan ni Bethel. He was going up by the way, there came forth little children out of the city, digit yung bing, katri na brabak da, they mock him, anak ko nana, said unto him, go up bald head, go up bald head. Oh, pangato ka, kalbo, kalbo ko na da, kat profeta da, eti kakabsat, agasang mo, digit yung bing, kalbo, kalbo ko na da. Una ta, siyempre, awang buok na. Digat kalbo. Nga mga mo dapat na padaksin kakabsat. Eh, kat anat inaramid ni Elisha, kasla pa na kay minus madla una yung office nan, nga propetan. Yaw, kitan tayo yung 23, 24. And he turned back. Tao mo't nga kas kada tayo. Anak ko nana, look on them. Curse them in the name of the Lord. Markaan nyo deta kakabsat. Han nga naggapukan niya deta. Gapot pa na ka idadanas na, kunana, he cursed them in the name of the Lord. Salbahe nga ubing na gito ya. Apay, listen, sakbay nga ibagak dito. Eh. Mabalin nga di giti naganak da, tay pastor dat pagsasaritaan kan kan kanin da inta panganan. Iso nga di giti nga ubing, na pick up da di jay pamadpadakas nga imbagbaga da giti naganak da di kad inang angaw da di jay men of God. Listen very carefully adults and members of the church hang kayo markaan nyo tangiwat yung kakabsat nga agsasaot dakas in front of other people and your children otherwise they pick it up and ridicule the men of God. Now, ano inaramid ako na na? And there came forth wolves, ay bears, kunana, of the wood, and take forty and two children of them. Kinan, dag ito'y wolves kakabsat, ay dag ito'y bears, dag ito'y ubing na forty to. Inalunun da amin ida, gapote pa nang idadanas dati adipan ti apo. Lesson lang kadatay da ito'y kakabsat. Alam, mabalin ha na mapasamak, pero... This should be a great lesson to us. Nga ante aremidan ti men of God kakabsat iti mamadpadakas uno mangidadanes iti adipon iti apo. Because God will come back to you. Kuna na ta Bible kakabsat touch not my anointed. Psalm 105 verse 15. Then we will go to the conclusion. Psalm 105 verse 15. Saying, touch not mine anointed and do my prophets no harm. That's a command from God. Hamu nga sagidan, daytoy pinulutak, kat di ka agaramid, iti dakas kadakwada. Once sa sinagid mo ti Adipon ti Apo, kat nagaramid ka ti dakas, kunana ti Apo, I will recompense, saith the Lord. Hanggang nga bumalas, siya timang balas kan ka, kadakwada. Ha? Balikan ni Apo, da kita nga tattao, nga garamit ti dakas ti adipan ti Apo. Amen? Now, uh, let's go to number eight, anak ko. Okay? Uh, kuwa de ito yung amin, uh, at it, tunu <laughs> Ituloy tayo ito maminsan ng kakabsat. Ayan? Huwag naman tayo pala. Ito, remember him. Number three pala ang anak ko. Uh, sorry. Ito yan. Remember him. Lagi pa niyo isuna. 1317, remember them which was the rule over you. Lag-lagi pa niyo ida. No, apay nga, dada ito yung aminsan ng kakabsat. Lag-lagi pa tayo that we have only one pastor. Adot pa pastor kakabsat, but today, in a certain church sa SBBC, we have one senior pastor. What I would like to say is, remember him on his birthday. Amen! Amen. 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 Agasam ka kapsat, ti pastor ag saksakripisyo ti aduunay, hana nga idigar ka da tayo. At ang panagserbi na ti Apo. Ngam di ba nakapimpintas nung may encourage tayo mo't isuna? Babaan ti panangitad tayo ti sagot? 
di ba kakabsat? Okay? So, deta ti kayat nasa uwan kakabsat, deta o. Yeah? Encourage him. It is a great encouragement to our pastor because anak kakabsat, di kita o. He gave us the admonition. Just keep it up, anak o. Pamulatan. Ever keep your pastor close to your heart in fond remembrance. Remember him at the throne of grace when you pray. Isutay ko na kadang to part na ko na katapo, bendisyon na ti pastor mi agkasabay ta. Nga nakasagana kam nga umawat ti mensahe, whether it is rebuke or encouragement. Yeah? When you pray, particular the admonition is to remember its message and doctrine he preaches. Dagi tayo mensahe ngayon kasabati pastor tayo, agyaman tayo kakabsat na mabilag kada tayo. Listen. Dito tayo sumaroon now. Listen. Carefully to what he preaches. And then, take notes. Amok na dagay tatag. Take, take note. Nakaadwa. Adu kakabsat. Kapos, to aid our memory kasi our memory fell us. Discuss his sermon at home among your brethren. Di ba? Kung nagpintas tayo, nagkong nga mensahe itatay, it encourages me. What a blessing. O rela, i-text mo tayo, pastor mo, kat ko nam, ah, pastor, I remember your preaching. It helps me a lot in my troubled times. Eh, kat dinasaya at di jay kakabsat. Ayan? O, nalain kayo mo't nga agchat, wano ang yaman dita. Siya ang marigatan na, nung maminsan hang kayo mateksan, narigat tayo imak nga agtext. Nga mabalin lang, lima lang nga balik ka siguro. Ayan. <laughs> Goodbye, Glad. God bless you. DJ lang. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Now, uh, remember him for two reasons. Two reasons. One, he has the rule of the church. Isut mangi da ulo kada tayo. His word should be remembered because God has made him your spiritual guide in this world. Okay. So, lagi pa, ni pastor kat kastoy tayin kasabana itay. Of course, not his word, but comes from the word of God. Dahil ito yung tipang magbaga na kanyak itatay, isong nga ka ti dakas. Nuhang ko dinengag ti, pamagbaga ni pastor, sa din nung atatayan ko kumaitan. Dagi jay kakabsat. Aya? And then, why? Remember him, he speaks to you the word of God. I'm closing in this uh, point. He speaks to you the word of God. He does not come in his own name, teaching his own opinions or the philosophies of men. But, he is God's man. Your pastor comes to you with God's message. Armed with God's authority. The authority na kakapsat, dito isa uti apo. Iso nga uri, masaktan ka, agamen ka. Amen? Amen? Para hindi halata na ikaw ay nasaktan. Okay? What he says, you are responsible to listen and hear, to apply and remember and obey. He preaches to you the word of God. Oh, isong harod nga yung may kadoy. Anak ko na na ta Biblia, 2 Timothy 3.16. All scripture is given by the inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine. Reproof, correction, instruction in righteousness. Nagkita yun yata, that the man of God may be thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Alright. Now, he speaks to you the word of God. These are some words. He fed you. Pakanin na tayo. Agat, nun na imas na impakal na hamukad malaglagip. Kunana, kasjay ko mamanin, kaldo ko mga kangkanayon makapapigsa. <laughs> Di ba? Malagip mo tayong bagana. Apo, ah, nagimas gayam day dyan nga mensahe. He encourages you. Not only he fed you, encourages you. The word of God comforted you. Di kita kakabsat. How many of you have been encouraged and comforted by the preaching of our pastor? Say Amen. Amen. He has challenged you. Ado challenge nga intid na kada tayo kakabsat. Prove God. Say it the Lord, if He will not open the windows of heaven and pour your blessings, 
that there be no room enough to receive it. To God be the glory. Agad, what a blessing. Di pastor siya ako na na, na itid mi te commitment min, to God be the glory. Eh, ada dikit is sobre jairwar. Challenge di jay. Amok ka kapsat, sacrificial, pero also to God be the glory. May itid mi ka ni misis ko te commitment min. Ala, aging gat agusto ba't pa lagi di ka kapsat. Ngam, challenge di jay, di ba? Oh, ano pa iti may itiitid na solution to our problem di mo lang mo nga imay ka agsadutak ko mga imay itay ng biyaman pa iti imayak na kigimong nasulbar ti problema naanseran di kiti problema di ba? and other things answers to prayer what a blessing and another thing as he speaks the word of God there is spiritual progress. Di ba kakamsat? So anat aramidin tayo, let's remember our pastor. Remember him in your prayers. Ang amdakas ka, di nga mairaman mo't kada tayo kakamsat. Aya? Ala ka na desiran di jay, pandemic kakamsat, aya? Ang amno, adamay paraman tayo, agat dakil nga banag di jay kakamsat. Nga encouragement. Kada kayo nga din ta Zoom, I know there are lots of encouragement that you receive from your pastor. If you will communicate with him on his 36th birthday, it will be a great blessing. Kankunak, hamo nga po kao di jay. Because giving to the man of God is like giving to the Lord. He will never forget your labor of love. Di pa nang ikararag na kada tayo kakapsat, dakil nga banag. So nga, Amen. We should minister to our pastor also. Kunatayo, what is my duty to my pastor? Know him, hold him in respect, concerned about his comfort and welfare because he labor among us by divine appointment. So let's esteem him very highly, the possible opinion that we can have in our life. And also, Let us remember him in prayer. I've been, I've been saved. I have accepted Christ, April first, nineteen seventy-nine. I'm forty-two years old in the faith. Forty-two years old. In the ministry, I've been thirty-eight years old. Thirty-eight years. Kakabsat, I have proven the Lord that He is faithful and just. Kada tayo nga daamin nga day ti ti gimong ti tangal daw ikararag tayo ti pastor tayo kakabsat nga ikandi apo ti manayo na panagbiag. Kired gan salaknib nga nay langitan tapno maitultuloy tayo kakabsat ti agtaraon iti sao ti apo. May God bless everyone. Ituloy tayo ti tunos maruno a Domingo iso ti final pastors day tayo because nine day jay kakabsat 10 year birthday na. Nine day jai. Pray for me that I could still deliver the message this coming Sunday by the grace of God. To God be the glory. Agkararag tayo. Let's pray. Let's pray. Father God, thank you for the opportunity given today for the strength you had provided. Apo, amok nga nasisita unay nga digiti anak kan adadipen mo apo. Kahit malaglagip da babaen ti panagkararag. Yes, Iti trono ti parabor mo. Isuda apo nga pinultam, tapno mayeg kada kami ti naimbag nga damag. Mangtaraon kada kam ti na espirituan, tapno iti kasta apo saan kam nga agkapoy. Dakkel nga encouragement iti pastor mi apo nga aramatem ken isut pangidaldalanam ti mensahe, tapno iti kasta agtalen aed kami ti panagserbiken ka. Tulungan na kami apo nga balin pa'y nga matalik. Makipartner iti pastor mi iti panagkarkararag apo. And to such encouragement nga mabalin mi mat nga aramidin kan kwa na whether by, by message or at the moment of this time of his 36th birthday. What a great blessing. Ngayon tad na ti biyag na nga para kan ka apo. Bendisyon nam na kiti amin na kakabsat. As they continue to view and communicate with each and every one of us, especially the ministry, 
Tulungan na kami, Apo, kan aywanan na kami. Kuam ti gloria kan panagyaman, sublimi amin kan ka, kat ituloy na kami nga aywanan in the days to come, and hopefully, Lord, I could still deliver the final message this Amen. coming Sunday on our Pastor's Day. Bless every one of us in a very special way. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless everyone.